Hello YouTube, this is my first ever video. I've watched a lot of videos of the Jewel Thief circuit and the Fuji camera circuit. Uh, haven't been able to get hold of a disposable camera. Here in India it's pretty difficult to get these, so I've ordered a few of eBay. It's gonna take me a while to get them. In the meantime, uh, this is what uh, I figured. If it's uh, the capacitor which plays the biggest role in the Fuji circuit, I've realized the bug snapper also has a circuit with a huge capacitor. So this is uh, what was in the bug snapper circuit. This is the power supply and the battery bank. This is probably the charging circuit. So I've got this out of the circuit. Didn't really want to use this uh, 4.5 volt battery. Got that out. And this is what's left in the circuit there was also an LED and a resistor I got that out hoping to save a few more of the milliamps now this this one has a, a 2000 volt capacitor a few others that I ripped apart had a 1600 volt capacitor and this was a CFL which uh, wasn't working got the guts removed uh, four leads out shorted two and those two go to the capacitor so this is what's left <clears throat> and let's put in the batteries and ah there you go we have some light but here's what's really disappointing the brightness of this uh, bulb is just not enough even to do some basic reading probably best just as a bed lamp uh, I'm no expert the whole reason why I'm doing this video is uh, for the people who know how to work this out to give me a few suggestions on how I could improve this. Uh, fortunately, I've got this running for about uh, four hours and uh, it hasn't died down yet. And these aren't fresh batteries though. So, I've searched on the web and I really couldn't find anybody or anything doing a similar kind of a circuit. So, since it's, uh, since it's what I believe the first, I'm gonna call it the bug circuit, the bug snapper circuit. Again, requesting those of you who know how these work, if uh, there's any scope for improvement, probably adding a few more components to make it work better. I did try uh, connecting this to a 46 watt tube light, a fluorescent tube, and the brightness is just not worth it. Really can't do anything with it. Again, uh, thanks for watching, hoping to hear some suggestions from all of you. Thank you.